Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got even more updates to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I know we just got a brand new trailer yesterday, but we're already getting more news at the start of October. We also have new mythical Pokemon mystery gifts to go over. Loads of stuff to talk about today, so if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet updates. This was tweeted out by Poke Experto earlier today saying Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet will be present at Nintendo Live 2022 on October the 8th and October the 9th. So I don't actually know what day those are. are they, is that a weekend? It's, uh, yeah, it's on a Saturday and a Sunday. So there might also be a trailer that week um, where they obviously go into more detail about what would be shown in that trailer at this like Nintendo Live but either way it has been confirmed that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will be at Nintendo Live 2022 really excited to see what um, they show there I don't think they just show like information we've just seen like yesterday I'm sure there'll be new information there so I'm guessing either a trailer will get dropped at Nintendo Live or more updates or we will be seeing a trailer uh, uh, like starting the week of um, starting the week of the 3rd of October, so the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, or th uh, 7th, and then obviously this is then happening on the 8th and the 9th, so I think at the start of October we could definitely be seeing some new information for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Again, we just got a trailer yesterday at the start of September, we got a trailer at the start of August, so that does seem to be like the pattern that they're doing. Um, that we might even get more information this month, to be fair. I don't know, we got a lot of like, information in August. We got the big trailer at the start. We got Cyclozar. Uh, we also got Grafia as well. Um, well, I mean, Grafia was more September, but it was basically at the end of August. And then we just got this big trailer in September. So we might see like another Pokemon revealed this month, and then whatever this is. Uh, and then, of course, I mean, we could even get starter evolutions here as well. We do have the starters there with Pikachu. You never know. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like the next big trailer will ha like has to show the second stages of starter evolutions. It just has to. Um, but either way, look forward to that. We won't have to wait long for more information. Again, could be more in September. But if not, we'll definitely be getting something on October, October the 8th or the 9th or the week before this weekend. Um, just because they're not going to show random information that we've already seen at this event. This is a Nintendo Live 2022. Um, so yeah, that has been confirmed. It was confirmed earlier today. So look forward to that. Really excited to see what happens there. Um, we also have uh, this post by Cerebi. So there's three new mythical Pokemon mystery gifts happening uh, starting on the 9th of, 9th of September. So tomorrow. So this was posted by Cerebi saying a new distribution has been confirmed for Europe starting tomorrow, September the 9th until September the 30th. So the offers uh, codes to get Genesect, a Volcanion, and Marshadow in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So we know that we're going to get the Shiny Eternatus at some point, which hasn't been revealed yet, like officially. Um, but instead of that, we got this revealed. So they're giving us a lot of Pokemon, to, I guess just to like boost up Scarlet and Violet stuff. Like they're giving us Genesect, Volcanion, um, and then Marshadow. We know we're getting Shiny Eternatus. These aren't Shinies, unfortunately, but at the same time, it's three new mythical Pokemon. We just got Victini, a Pokemon Worlds. They're just cramming these legendary and mythical Pokemon uh, into our games, which I'm all for. Like, give me all of them. I'm, I'm down for it. Um, but unfortunately, this isn't just like a, a mystery gift. Uh, it's more like... A, well, I mean, I guess it is, but it's obviously a code that you need to get. So, um, a new serial code event has been confirmed for Europe. The event will allow you to go to various stores in order to get codes to get Pokemon Genesect, Volcanion, and Marshadow. You'll get codes uh, for all three of the uh, on the code card. So, this is just for Europe at the moment. Um, so, the event runs from tomorrow, September the 9th, to the 30th of September. The current known distribution locations are... So, in the UK, it's Game. So, that's like our big like game store here in the UK. And also, uh, also in Netherlands and Belgium, it's Game Mania. I think it's also been confirmed for Micromania as well in France. Um, but yeah, it seems to just be Europe at the moment. So unfortunately, um, people outside of Europe, they don't have access to this yet. But I'm sure it will be available for you guys soon. Unless you're getting Shiny Eternatus, like... Shiny Eternatus is happening in America. I think that's also happening in France as well, but that hasn't been revealed like officially. So I don't know. Maybe this all becomes available everywhere. If it does, I will keep you guys updated. Um, but tomorrow you can go into the game store in the UK and you can get a mystery gift code for Genesect, Volcanion, and Marshadow. So not bad at all. Definitely, uh, definitely happy about that. Um, but that's the big information about Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield. Uh, we're also going to go over this as well because this was quite a good point by uh, Paper. Uh, Paper Gamer, should I say, um, who tweeted out, this was before the last trailer, this was tweeted out on September the 4th, and they said, 
Okay, so hear me out. Starters are usually one-off per game, which obviously we all know. You, you pick your starter at the start of the game, and then you go on your adventure. But if we're going to want one with a different terror type, are we going to see them in terror raids? What about any legends, specifically the box legends? And sure, we have heard rumors that there will be uh, an item to change terror types. But honestly, how common is that item going to be? So basically, this person here is saying, you know, like every Pokemon's going to have like a terror type that you can catch. So you can catch like a Quaxley. Well, not Quaxley because it's a starter. Let's just say Eevee. You can catch an Eevee with like a flying terror type. You can catch an Eevee with a fire terror type. Um, you can catch an Eevee with a water terror type, whatever. You can have an Eevee with any different terror type. So obviously it will take you a bit of time to be able to find a Pokemon with the specific terror type that you want it to have. Which is why there's an item that's been rumored that will be able to change a Pokemon's terror type. Which probably will happen. Um, but how like rare is that item going to be? Um, and that's what they're saying here. So, But honestly, how common is that item going to be? Because the goal of raids are going to be to go and capture Pokemon with unique terror types, which we know about. We know that raids offer Pokemon with different terror types, which is why it's going to be really um, beneficial to battle all of these different raids to get all of these different Pokemon with the terror types. Uh, how motivated are we going to be to do raids if you can just buy a couple dozen of the items? And then this person here, Pearl Enthusiast, says, The point is you get the items from raids, meaning it's likely to just be a one-use rare item. So the raids that we, we obviously take part in could drop this item that allows a Pokemon to change its terraform. Um, and then they go on to say, I mean, I'm assuming they are only one use, but the point is, if they are common enough, you can get dozens and dozens easy, then the motivation to do raids is going to disappear quick, specifically if they plan to make rare terror types the motivation to do raids. They are likely not a common item and not to make it even more time consuming, they'll make it uh, so only certain terror raids can drop that type. But even then, unless the items are unique to each type, it's still going to become a thing where folks stockpile the item and then unique raids won't matter as much. Um, so yeah, basically they're saying here that like there's going to be, I don't know, let's say there's a Sloking raid and that just drops water terror types. And then you can use that on like a Sprigatito that was like a fire terror type and then it becomes a water terror type. Um, but they're also saying here is like, how do you get like the starters as well? Like the starters... We're only be able, like we're only going to start with obviously one of Quaxley, Sprigatito, and Fuecoco. Um, So well, they're obviously all going to be assigned a Terra type. But how are we going to be able to get like the start with other Terra types unless there's this item that allows us to change it? So uh, maybe we can find the starters in raids. It could potentially happen. I'm pretty sure in Sword and Shield that was a thing at some point. Um, but either way, uh, quite a lot of information to kind of think about there with the whole Terra types and stuff like that. Quite, um, quite interesting for sure. Uh, next up, we have this, um, which is the latest information about Cloth. Um, so this was tw uh, tweeted out by Urtery, uh, saying Cloth is a Zapatero or rock crab that you can find in the Iberian um, coasts. Also, it has some aspects of a Nikora or a Velvet crab. So that is the Pokemon that um, Cloth is based on. Well, the animal that Cloth is based on. It's based on this type of crab. It's literally called the rock crab, um, which is why it is a rock type Pokemon. So that's pretty cool information. Uh, next up, we have a couple of more kind of promotional campaign things for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I don't know if this is pre-order bonuses or something like that. I think it is. It's just stickers, uh, but it's just for Japan. It was tweeted out by uh, Poke Experto saying Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxley stickers as gifts at Pokemon Centers in Japan in the promotional campaign for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. They look really cool. I'm a big fan of them, but yeah, I don't, I don't think this is available as a pre-order like everywhere else. I think it's literally just for Pokemon Centers in Japan, and you have to go in there and obviously get it and stuff. Um, so that's that. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the actual engine Pokemon. So obviously it hasn't been officially revealed yet, but we know it's a Pokemon. Um, and this was tweeted out by Blaze Incineroar saying, I've looked at it from many angles, but I can't find anywhere to fit tires. Um, so this could mean that the, the body is hidden. For all we know, this thing could have a tail or arms in there. So this is obviously all the different kind of screenshots and stuff we've got of this new engine Pokemon. We don't know the name of it or anything like that. But as you can see from the image, like... It doesn't really have anywhere to put like wheels, arms, legs or anything like that. Like this, this is like some sort of like tentacle thing that's kind of attached itself to this vehicle. I think it's controlling the vehicle as well. But this is the eye here. This is obviously the tongue on top of the mouth. Uh, unless it's upside down as well. This could literally be upside down and it's like a spider thing. Um, and when it attaches something. So like this is the body here. This is the eye and this is the mouth. But obviously it's upside down. So you obviously have to turn it around. Um, and then that's when it makes more sense because I think for the mouth to just be on top of his eye with the tongue I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. So it's probably gonna look similar like this uh, This is what I'm talking about here um, And then yeah, maybe underneath it is there's like legs or something But yeah, I think this is the like spider like body. This is the eye and then yeah mouth and, and tongue and stuff like that um, But yeah, this is kind of the different angles of it what we've really seen so far of this new Pokemon 
Uh, and then, yeah, finishing things off, this is just from PLDH, saying that the key artwork uh, depicting Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's three main story quests, uh, Victory Road, which is the gym challenge, the Path of Legends, which we, we have to work with Arvin to search for rare ingredients called Herba Mystica, and then Starfall Street, challenge team star, a group of delinquents causing trouble at school. Um, that's a very detailed engine with a tongue, so obviously more stuff about the, the engine Pokemon there. And as well as that, if you didn't know, uh, and just to uh, drive the point home, see what they did there, uh, they outright state that the Star Mobile, which is obviously what the bosses are going to be on, will somehow get in your way during the battles against the squad bosses. If that engine is a Pokemon, it might use its own attacks in battle. So, yeah, here we have um, you battling, like, the the boss here at the back. And you've got, like, your Foy Coco and stuff. And she's using a Torkoal here. Um, but maybe, yeah, this engine Pokemon just uses an attack every now and again. So it could be, like, a two-on-one every time you're doing this battle. Um, so, yeah, I think these boss battles are going to be quite difficult, to be fair. The fact that you have to beat all of these grunts, um, like, all of these random Pokemon. And then you have to fight... Um, the boss and this big old vehicle all at the same time I think it's gonna be quite difficult I'm looking forward to these boss battles I think it's gonna be really cool um, but yeah that's kind of all the latest news and information for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet this is the big one though keep your eyes out at the start of October I mean we can assume we're gonna obviously gonna get trader in October anyway but this is kind of a more of a idea of when we're actually gonna see it now it just seems to be at the start of every month they're dropping information so they might drop a big trader at the start of October a big trader at the start of November and then obviously the games come out on the 18th of November but either way keep your eyes peeled for that uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Let's try and hit 500 likes. What are your thoughts on the mystery gifts and everything like that? Um, so yeah, subscribe, ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.